Yo, what's up guys, Creeper Killer here. Now today I've got a quick tutorial for you on how you can use an Xbox 360 controller in Call of Duty World at War on PC. Uh, this is specifically for the Xbox 360 controller. I'm pretty sure other controllers would work like a Steam controller or PS3. Uh, I'm not sure if there are any extra steps involved, however, uh, so I'm, uh, just... Be mindful of that. This is for Xbox 360 controller. So, anyways, what you want to do is you want first you want to find a way to connect your controller to your PC. If you have a wired controller, then just simply plug the USB into the USB port on your PC. If you have a wireless controller, then you need to get yourself a receiver and then sync your controller to the receiver. Once you do that, then you want to load up World at War. Then, okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to Options and Controls, Game Options, and make sure Enable Console says Yes. After that, what you want to do is you want to hit the tilde key, which is that little squiggly line key to the left of the one key. And then that should pop up. So what you want to do is you want to type in exec space default undersc underscore controller dot cfg now you can now you have your controller now you can use that of course it's it's not it does not show it on the menu you it only act it's only active when you're in game i'll show you in just a, so yeah let's uh so mission select nocturne on toten just to show you an example so now, so this is me looking around with the mouse. This is me looking around with the controller. You can notice a huge difference. And I can't keep it that steady at constant pace. So yeah, it's the, now how it's set is the default controller configuration on that, as it would be on Xbox 360. Uh, you can hit the, hit the start button and bring up the menu, but you can't. However, I'm using my controller right now. However, it's not doing anything. You have to use the mouse at the menu. Now, if you want to change up the controls, you want to go to controls and then like and then you should see a and then you should see like a bunch of stuff here like it says RT or left mouse. For RT would be right trigger in that site, left trigger Y or wheel down. And and you can tell it's not the key on the keyboard, and it's the button because it'll be colored with the corresponding color interact map so, sorry not in, interact see green a b or control so yeah so yeah it's so yeah that's how you change up the controls um uh and for those who want to change the sensitivity uh, changing the sensitivity, changing the mouse sensitivity does not work. You say you want to open up the console again, and you want to hit input, input view, sense, sensitivity, and then any, any number between one and five, so five being the highest. So do, wait, what? Hold on. All right, sorry, uh. Sorry, I just misplaced the, uh, the underscore. It's input underscore view sensitivity, and then any number between one and five. So, five would be, so five would be the highest. Because now, okay, because as you can see, my sensitivity is a lot higher, and I think I'm about to be uh, mauled. So, yeah. And then, one is the lowest. So yeah, I'm a. Uh... So so one is the lowest sensitivity, five is the highest. So actually, hold on, let me get away from these flesh gobblers. And then input.
and then one is the lowest and that's what's de and that's the default that's what you have at the start so and I believe you can put in decimals let me go check let's see uh put one point five and then okay this is slightly faster so you can put in so you can put any value between one and five including decimals so yeah so I hope you, you f hope you found this video helpful if you did please like and subscribe for more peace one more thing I should probably mention that it does work so far in every custom map I've tried the controller does work on it uh, after I load up the mod but before I start it, I do input the command uh, exec default underscore controller dot cfg just to be on the safe side so yeah you can do it though just be aware that some m custom maps might have certain features where the Xbox 360 controller is not gonna be compatible with it for example I have the map Z Hunter Z it's a good map I did a v YouTube video on it once go check it out um, uh, anyways okay so just to prove it this is me looking around with the mouse this is me looking around with the controller However, there is a feature on this map, the jukebox. I can hold X and use it. However, as you can see, I cannot, the controller, I'm using the controller. I cannot do anything with it. I have to use the mouse. So, yeah. So, I have to do that. Anyways, so, yeah. So, it's, so for the most part, it works how, on custom maps. Just be aware that some features like that, you'll have to use the keyboard and mouse. So, yeah. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more. Peace.